James Baylog is a photographer with a passion for ice. As founder and director of the Extreme Ice Survey, Baylog has spent the last few years installing and monitoring time-lapse cameras to document how glaciers around the world are changing. His story is the center of a documentary called Chasing Ice, premiering at the 2012 Sundance Film Festival in Utah in late January. Earlier this month, Baylog stopped by the American Geophysical Union headquarters in Washington, D.C. to talk about the challenges and rewards that come with being a scientist communicator. I think it's incredibly important to tell the story of what's going on out there. You know, this is, uh, I, I see it as a big, really literally monumental historical change that's happening under our noses, basically unwitnessed. What's important about ice is that it's the place where you can see and hear and touch and feel climate change in action. When we put the cameras out in Iceland, it was the spring of 2007, and I really never thought we'd have much to talk about until 2009 maybe, 2010. And um, my God, we went back and downloaded the cameras three months after they had been put in. And it was epic what had happened already. You just couldn't even believe your eyes. And when we be went back on for the six month visit, uh, we were looking around literally wondering if we were in the right place. Really, the ice was just right here, and surely it should be maybe just a little further back. And instead, it was like way, way, way back. We could see all sorts of landscape features around us we couldn't even see before. To communicate to the general public, I think it's incredibly important to have a really succinct idea of what it is the research is and what you think is important and what it is that's important to say. Make it succinct. I'm often amazed at AGU how exciting the core information embedded in those graphs actually is, but how boring the look of a graph is compared to the excitement of what might be going on with Pine Island Glacier in Antarctica. Show us some pictures of Pine Island. Show us some pictures of, of the calving face in the water and the, and the, and the submersibles going in the, in the seas underneath it. Show us the cool stuff. Yeah, that's me. I'm at uh, Columbia Glacier. That's a site uh, called uh, the Great Noon Attack, and we've had a bunch of different camera positions uh, on, on those cliffs of the Great Noon Attack looking upstream. And all that ice that you see in that picture right there is gone now. All the ice that's behind me, all that was gone within two years. Vanished. Poof. And uh, the glacier is way back up around the corner. 